to <coughs> do the chapter number six that is triangles and its properties so starting with the introduction so a triangle you have seen that is a simple closed curve made of three lines segments it has three vertices three sides and three angles so you can see here abc abc is a triangle is having three sides a b b c and a c or we can say b a c b and c a so these are three sides three angles angle a angle b and angle c or we call it angle uh, c a b or b a c or angle a angle b or angle a b c or angle <coughs> c b a or angle c angle a c b or angle b c a <coughs> so this is a simple closed curve okay made of three line segments then vertices are a b and c so we have these sides angles and the vertices so the sides opposite to the vertex a is b c so side opposite to vertex a so this is vertex a is b c we can see here then can you name the angle opposite to side a b okay side a b opposite angle is c so you know how to classify the triangles is based on the sides and the angles so based on the sides we have a scalene isosceles and equilateral triangle and on the basis of the angles we have acute angled obtuse angled and right angle triangle so when we say a scalene triangle now when we say scalene triangle so when we say scalene triangle scalene triangle means a triangle in which all three sides are of different measurement or different length then isosceles triangle means when two sides are equal when two sides are equal and when we have equal triangle equal triangle means all three sides are equal now when we say acute angle triangle means all three angles angle a angle b angle c all are acute angle acute angle means greater than zero degree less than 90 degree then we have obtuse angle obtuse angle means that any one of the angle not all three angles and any one angle either angle a or b or c is obtuse obtuse means greater than 90 and less than 180 degree then we have a right angle triangle means then any one of the angle is right angle right angle means value of that angle is 90 degree okay then we have the next is median of a triangle so what is median of a triangle given a line segment you know how to find this perpendicular bisectors by paper folding cut out a triangle abc as you can see abc then from a piece of paper consider any one of these sides say bc we have taken the side bc by paper folding locate the perpendicular bisector bc perpendicular bisector means yes dividing into two equal parts and making an angle of 90 degree here so these folded creases meet bc at d so this is point d and its point as midpoint this is the midpoint d d is the midpoint of bc now join ad join ad so this is how we are getting the median so a line segment ad joining the midpoint of side bc to its opposite vertex a is called the median of a triangle so the line segment ad joining the midpoints of bc to the opposite vertex a is called the median of a triangle so considering the sides ab and ca and find other two more medians of the triangle so the median connects the vertex of a triangle to the midpoints of the opposite side so a median connects a vertex of triangle to the opposite sides of the hmm, triangle to the midpoints of the opposite sides okay now then we have the altitude of a triangle so what is the altitude of a triangle so make a triangle shaped cardboard abc as you can see here abc places upright on the table how tall is the triangle the height of the is the distance from the vertex a so this height of the triangle how high is the triangle is height kitni is ki to the base bc so from a to bc you can think of many line segments which among them with will represent its height so height is given by the line segment starting from a comes straight down to bc and is perpendicular to bc so if you see this ad ad is perpendicular to this and this coming straight so this is called the altitude so the line segment al is called the altitude so as we can see here so many lines but this al is a line which is only perpendicular so this is the called the altitude so altitude has one end points at the vertex of a triangle and the other on the line containing its opposite sides through each vertex the altitude can be drawn so through each vertex means through a also we can draw altitude through b also we can draw altitude through c also we can draw altitude okay the next topic is of our exterior angle of a triangle and its properties so if we see here carefully draw a triangle abc so abc is a triangle produced um, produced one of its sides say bc so we are producing bc to the point d now we have acd so acd is called the exterior angle of a triangle abc from the vertex c clearly bc if you see bca bac a is adjacent angle to angle acd so the remaining two angles of a triangle namely angle a and b are called the two interior opposite angles so 
ACD is an exterior angle and angle A and angle B are called the uh, interior opposite angles. So now if we cut out this then what we'll find we find here that if we cut out the angle A and angle B and then we put both the angles adjacent at angle C then we find that the exterior angle is sum is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. So now so an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. So if you see here uh, considering the triangle ABC, ACD is an exterior angle, ACD exterior angle to show that yes and that um, angle ACD, measure of angle ACD is equal to show the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B. So if we just draw a line CE uh, parallel to AB then we have angle 1 is equal to angle X yes alternative angles then angle 2 is equal to angle y corresponding angles if we add angle 1 plus 2 and angle x plus y so we are getting the same thing so it, this shows that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles so this is called the exterior angle property of a triangle okay now we have the angle sum property of a triangle so what is the angle sum property of a triangle angle sum property of a triangle is basically that the sum of all the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree so how to do an activity of this if we take a triangle and cut out all these angles angle 1 also angle 2 also angle 3 cut out if we then put them in a line so we'll get the alignment in um, and they're forming a straight line it means that their sum is equal to 180 so this is the uh, angle property that is the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 this is known as angle sum property of a triangle so different exercises from the chapter 6 that is the triangle lens property so starting with the very first exercise 6.1 so in the very first question it is uh, given that in triangle pqr so we can see in triangle pqr d is the midpoint of the side qr d is the midpoint of the side qr so if D is the midpoint, it means in triangle PQR, we have QD is equal to DR. That is QD is equal to DR. It means, now, first thing they have asked us PM. What is the PM is? So PM is altitude as we can say that this is perpendicular to QR. So this is forming a 90 degree. So it's an altitude. Then now since QD is equal to DR, it means PD is the median because median divides the uh, yes, a given side into two equal parts when it is drawn from the opposite vertex. Okay. Then we have in the second question, second question is draw a rough sketch for the following. In triangle ABC, BE is the median. Okay. So in triangle ABC, B is the median. So we have drawn a triangle ABC where B is the median. Median means A is equal to AC. Then second in triangle PQR, PQ and PR are the altitudes of a triangle. So so we have a uh, triangle pqr so pqr where pq and uh, where p um, yes where qp and rp are the perpendiculars are the um, altitudes okay so both are perpendicular so they are both are altitudes then in triangle xyz uh, yl is altitude in the exterior of the triangle so as we can see here that is obtuse angle triangle so in case of obtuse angle triangles the altitude always lie outside the triangle so this is y l is perpendicular to um, is perpendicular as exterior um, altitude okay as we uh, have already know that the altitude of an obtuse angle triangle always lie outside the triangle so therefore this is the required figure of a sketch of this now moving towards the uh, question number three verify by drawing a diagram if the median of a altitude of isosceles triangles can be the same Okay, so looking at isosceles triangle means any of the two sides are equal. If triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC, then AL is the median and median and the altitude of the given triangle. Median means dividing this opposite side into equal parts and also forming a 90 degree angle. So it means median and triangle of isosceles triangle can be same. Okay, right. Now, then in the then next exercise exercise that is 6.2 now in this looking at the very first question find the value of the unknown exterior angle x in the following diagram so we have to find the value of the x. exterior angle as you all know the exterior angle property of a triangle that the exterior angle is e the value of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles so we can see here so here x x is equal to 50 plus 70 that is 120 degree and here again x is equal to 45 plus 65 that is 110 degree then x equals to 30 uh, 30 plus 40 that is 70 degree then x is equal to 60 plus 60 that is 120 degree. then x is equal to 50 plus 50 100 degree then x is equal to 60 plus 30 that is 90 degree 
so in this way we can easily find as we all know the property of the extreme angle then the question number two is find the value of the unknown interior angle x in the given figures okay so if we see the first one how to find this as we can see here the extreme angle is given to us one of the interior angle is given to us other interior angle we have to find so again by using the extreme angle property of a triangle we can easily find that as, 50, as we can write here x plus 50 x plus 50 is equal to 115 so x plus 50 is equal to 115 so x is equal to 65 degree so in all these parts we have to use this property only so looking at the second part what is the second part uh, extra angle is given 100 and 100 degree interior angle is given 70 degree we have to find other interior angles so again uh, 70 plus x again 70 plus x is equal to shoe. Uh, x is equal to 100 minus 70 that is 30 degrees so in this we can easily see this is our solution then in the question number three if we see sorry third part if we see here again x three angle is given to us one of the interior angle is given to us so we have to find other so again using the same x plus 90 is equal to 125 so we have x equals part, shoe. it is given so that uh, one angle is 125 degree one interior angle is uh, x degree and what we have to find here we have and the x and the other interior angle is 90 degree so what we have to find we have to find the value of x so this will be now we can see clearly here x plus 90 is equal to 125 that is x is equal to 120 minus 90 is equal to 35 degree then the fourth part we can see here that one of the angle is given 120 that is exterior angle then one interior angle 60 other interior angle is x so again the same property exterior angle property of triangle x plus 60 is equal to 120 degree so we have x is equal to 120 minus 60 that is 60 degree then fifth part is that is 30 plus x again because x angle is given one of the interior angle is given other interior angle we have to find so using the same 30 plus x is equal to 80 so we have x is equal to 80 minus 30 that is 50 degree and again this last part also 75 degree that is x angle then 35 is degree uh, this is given and one of the interior angle is x so we have to find the value of x so we, uh, how to find this again using the same property that is x uh, that is x angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles so x plus 35 is equal to 75 so x is equal to 70 minus 35 that is 40 degree okay now then we move towards the third exercise that is 6.3 so what we have to do here we have to find the value of the unknown x now which property we are going to use here we are going to use here the angle sum property of a triangle as we all know the angle sum property of a triangle is that the sum of the three angles is equal to 180 degrees so we have here if we see here angle a is unknown angle b and c are given so we know angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree that is x plus 50 plus 60 is equal to 180 degree so x is x plus 110 is equal to 180 degree so x is equal to 180 degree minus 110 that is 70 degree and then again in the second uh, figure we can see uh, in triangle pqr so angle x we have to find this is 90 degree this is 30 degree so again using the same property so we have angle p is equal to here 90 degree we have angle q is equal to 30 degree we have angle r is equal to x degree so 90 plus 30 plus x is equal to 180 so x is equal to x plus 120 is equal to 180 so we have here x is equal to 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree then if we see the third part in the third part again two angles are given so we have to find this um, the value of the x so again using the same property here so we have here angle x plus angle y plus angle z is equal to 180 so that is 30 plus 110 plus x is equal to 180 degree so we have x plus 140 is equal to 180 degree so that is x is equal to 180 minus 140 degree that is 40 degree then the fourth part then in the fourth part what we have there in the fourth part we can see here uh, two angles are um, unknown but both the angles are same that is x and x and this is 50 so again using the angles and property of a triangle so we can see here that x plus x plus 50 is equal to 180 so we have 2x plus 50 is equal to 180 so that is 2x is equal to 180 minus 50 so 2x is equal to 130 upon 2 that is 65 degree so both the x values will be uh, 65 degree each then in the fifth it is given an equal triangle so equal triangle means all the three angles are equal so we can see here x x and x so how to find this so we can see here so x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees that is 3x is equal to 180 so x is equal to 60 degrees is the so x is equal to 60 degree is the answer then then we move towards the next part so what is that in the sixth part uh, angles are given as one is 2x degree other is x degree and the third angle is 90 degree so again using the angle sum property of a triangle so we have x plus 2x plus 90 is equal to 180 so that is 3x plus 90 is equal to 180 so we have 3x is equal to 90 or x is equal to 30 degree so in this way we'll find the values here now question number two in the question number two find the values of the unknown x and y in the following diagram so if, if we see in the very first figure so it is x and y are two unknown angles 
so if we see here if you use the x triangle property of a triangle a mm, and this um, of and this triangle so we have here x plus 50 is equal to 120 degree so it means x is equal to 120 minus 50 that is 70 degree then we can use the angle sum property of a triangle that is x plus y plus 50 is equal to 180 degree so we have here 50 plus 70 plus y is equal to 180 degree so that is y is equal to 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree okay or we can also use that <coughs> the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 means linear pair also we can use then uh, then we have the question number or the second part in the second part it is given that y and x are this and this is 50 degree so first um, we can see here that y is also 80 degree because these are vertically opposite angles then angle sum property of triangle 50 plus y plus x is equal to 180 so 50 plus 80 plus y is equal to 180 so 130 plus y is equal to 180 so y is equal to 180 minus 130 that is 50 degree is the answer then looking at the third part so these two angles are given and x and y we have to find so how we can find this like so we first what we are using here so looking here first we are adding here that x is x is x triangle so x is x triangle using the x triangle property of a triangle so we have here 50 plus 60 is equal to x so x is equal to 110 degree then using the angle sum property of triangle 50 plus 60 plus y is equal to 180 so we have y is equal to 180 minus 110 then that is y is equal to 70 degree then looking at the fourth part so what is given in the fourth part fourth part if we see here again uh, so these angles are given that is 60 degrees given now we have to find this uh, y and x so as we know uh, that here yes so x is equal to 60 degree the reason is very simple vertical opposite angle then using the angle sum property of a triangle so 30 plus x plus y is equal to 180 so we have 50 degree plus 60 degree plus y is equal to 180 degree so we have 90 plus y is equal to 180 so y is equal to 180 minus 90 that is 90 degree that is 90 degree okay then we have the fifth part so in the fifth part if we see what is given here so in the fifth part we can see here again this uh, y this 90 is given now x and x both angles are equal so first is vertical opposite angle so we are writing here y is equal to 90 degree uh, vertical opposite angle then using the angle sum property of triangle y plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree so 90 plus 2x is equal to 180 degree so we have here 2x is equal to 180 minus 90 that is 2x is equal to 90 degree so x is equal to 90 upon 2 that is 45 degree then in the sixth part so in the sixth figure if we see here what is given to us it is given to us that this is y this is x this is x okay and this is also x so it means x and y are equal because vertically opposite angles so so we write here x is equal to y vertical opposite angle now so we have x plus y plus um, x plus y plus x is equal to 180 degree that is angle sum property of a triangle so we have 2x plus x is equal to 180 degree so we have 3x is equal to 180 degree so x is equal to 180 upon 3 that is 60 degree so in this way we can easily solve these questions okay so just <clears throat> solve these questions carefully so thank you very much